Welcome back guys. I'll try to finish up the tutorial in this series I mean, in this video. So the next thing we need to do is we need to work on the instant messaging part. Which is whenever the user click on the uh, check on the checkbox, we wanna have the option where you can type here and then it'll instantly display on the other end. So where should we start here? So so let's do this. So whenever the user click on the uh, uh, the right text box, whenever they press the uh, key, we want to trigger an event under here. There's a lot of events uh, that we can use, but the one we're looking for is whenever the key is pressed. So search for key press the event. So make sure you highlight the uh, right text box first, okay? and it'll show up under the events tab. Double click on that and it'll generate the event handler for you. So let's start writing the code. Okay, so we need to write an if statement to uh, kind of filter out certain uh, things that we don't want. So make sure the serial report uh, Serial port is open. Well, check if it's not open, and we just have to return and this allow this uh, event to be uh, handle. That's how we handle when this whenever it's not open. If serial port right is not open, or Well, this is probably not the, the most efficient way to do it, but you can figure it out um, once you get uh, comfortable to writing it, writing code. So here's what we're gonna do. So if those two conditions are met, then just return, ignore the rest. Zero port write open. Here I did something wrong. Zero port right it is open. No, yeah, it is it is open. Oh, there, there you go. It's getting late, so you know I'm a little tired. So return, ignore the rest. So so if it is open, then then you will execute the following code. Uh, we need to generate a care buffer. Uh, array, the new care up uh, ones. So it's going to initiate a, a buffer that has the initial values of ones. Okay. And then our buffer array at index zero. We need to load the element zero with the key character. So that's the store inside the E event arguments. Key care. Okay. So that's our buffer being stored. And then we need next we need to send the uh, the buffer data over the serial line. So serial port right right and then our input is the buffer and these are uh, offset no uh, no offset and in count just one so our array is just one there's only one element in our array Okay, so we need to do the uh, semicolon to close that off. And I think that's it. Okay, so let's let's uh, review what, what's going on here. So the first thing, whenever someone type in this side of this box, it will trigger an event handler, and it will go here. And then if the serial port is not open, or the instant messaging option is not checked, 
then just ignore the following the rest of this so it's going to return back to the code and that's going to create some delay if you can actually feel the lag a little bit so that's why I'm saying why this is not the most efficient way to do it and then this part it just initialize the buffer array so you can store the character uh, from from the key uh, whenever it's someone type on the keyboard it will store inside this buffer and we use this buffer as an input to send over the serial line using the serial port write write method okay so the next thing to do is work on the last thing is the clear button so double click on that and this should be very straightforward so we read text box text we want to clear everything so just do the empty quotes and also just go ahead and clear the right text box text to empty Ooh, yeah it finishes for you okay so if all else works and let's go ahead and test our program here safe and debug init clear so let's test the first uh, the first option where you can manually send data so send there you go clear let's try the instant message click on this uh, okay and then start typing ooh it works alright thanks for watching guys uh, please comment subscribe like um, just tell me what you want me to uh, uh, work on next time thanks for watching